What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I am very excited to talk to you guys today. We have talked quite a number of times about how we want to try to make things a tad more efficient here on the farm. One way that we struggle to be efficient is water. You see, currently, we have to carry a hose everywhere we go to get water to the animals. Well, that's got to change. The hoses can get quite heavy. And I don't mean like a little heavy, I mean like a lot of heavy. When you're carrying a couple hundred feet of hose, that's a lot of weight. And currently, the only way we have to transport them is either on the tractor, which is a bit much. We try not to run that tractor too much around the property when we don't have to. It just seems a little bit overkill. So we carry them, which also seems a little silly. Could put them on a cart, that would work. And one day, I'd like to get a side-by-side, -side, but I'm not Stony Ridge, or Arms Family Homestead, or even Jason from Cog Hill for that matter. But one day, one day. That said, I'm carrying my hoses, and they're heavy. So how are we gonna change that? Ta-da! I scored some rain barrels. Well, they're not rain barrels yet. Right now they're blue vinegar barrels, but pretty soon they're gonna be some rain collection barrels, and things are gonna get a tad easier around here. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm doing my research right now, and I'm looking at how I wanna take care of this. There's so many different ways to do it, but I need to figure out the way that's gonna work the absolute best for us. We got six barrels here. The way I figure, and I'm sure Courtney has a different plan, but the way I figure is we've got one over in the buck's main pasture. We've got one over in the girl's, the doe's main pasture. One by the chickens, where we're gonna be keeping them, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit and see what's going on over there. And the rest are gonna go into the areas where we rotate them. That way there's water there and we're not trying to take water all the way over there. Because some of those areas are really far from here. Like, can't even get a hose over there to begin with. So we end up just carrying five gallon buckets. And you know, by the time we get there, it's two and a half gallons. I ain't trying to do that anymore. Cause those suckers are heavy. I'm gonna have to clean all the barrels out on the inside. I'm also gonna have to clean the outside. Right now they're covered in sand and whatever else from where they were sitting. On the inside is still some vinegar that I don't really want in the water. That, that's just gross, right? Unless it was like apple cider vinegar. And then, hey, that's like a win-win. If you're gonna try to use these blue plastic bottles for your water, then you really need to make sure that they are food safe. These are all uh, number two. Number two is ideally the number you're looking for. Uh, and I think, what, three and seven are no-nos. So stay away from the three and the seven. I don't know about a lot of the other ones. I've really just tried to stick with a number two HDPE container and everything was good. If that's what you're looking for, make sure you're looking for the right thing. Do your own research so that way you know. I did mine, we're gold. Folks, there is a lot going on here on Life on Beagle Road, pretty much all the time. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button smash the bell so you know when we're putting something out because you don't want to miss what we got going on here. If you're like my wife and you're all over Instagram, you can find us there. If you don't like that but you love Facebook, you can also find us there. And if you don't like either one, well, just keep coming right here to Life on Beagle Road. Back to the video. As you know, we are moving our old chicken coop. Courtney didn't really like the chicken coop and I was trying to give some reasons in the other video, but really what I was trying to say is it just wasn't pretty. She wants it to be pretty. I don't blame her. We're not really looking for our property and our farm to kind of look haphazard, you know? So having eyesores on the property that we keep our animals in isn't really advantageous for us. And, you know, when people come over to see what we have going on, they feel better about the aesthetics. We feel better about the aesthetics. We go back and forth with, you know, just working with what we have and also with spending a little bit of money to make things aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing is not necessary for a homestead, and I'd, I'd venture to guess that most homesteads aren't all that aesthetically pleasing. It's fine, but we like it. And, you know, we've, we've dealt with things as is, and to kind of get ourselves going, we just worked with what we had. But we're at a point now where we want to make things better, so to speak aka pretty. So what's in my trailer? That right there, folks, are the new walls for my chicken coop. As a matter of fact, 
I need to get these suckers out of the sun as quickly as possible, or otherwise I'm just gonna have potato chips on my hand. So I'm gonna need to get cracking on that ASAP. And then we'll be back to talk about what's going on down there. Got the plywood down here, or it's T111 actually, but it's all down here and we're all set to go. So over the last few days, we've been, and when I say we, I mean me and Robbie, have been going in here, cleaning it out, getting it all nice and tidy, removing some things that we just don't need anymore, like plexiglass windows, which are cracked, plastic corrugated roofing, which I thought was a great idea until it got hit by a branch and broke. It's also rather crusty. Can you even see me? We put a new piece up there to replace that piece. Now everything's pretty good. I'm gonna make some alterations to this chicken coop. One is the door. I don't really like where the door is. It doesn't close right, so we're gonna change that. I wanna slide it over and I want the door to sit inside. I want the trim to go down the side here and then the door over here trimmed out separately because that's pretty. These windows were never painted and they're not pressure treated wood so they don't look all that great anymore and eventually they're just not gonna hold up. I put hardware cloth on the outside of the window to protect the birds from any predators and then on the inside when it got cold I was screwing that plexiglass in on the inside. It didn't really work. We had some birds with some frostbite. Now part of that frostbite was actually the clear corrugated roofing panel. What happened was it would defrost things on the inside and then it would all freeze overnight. Bad scenario. Don't do that. If you look right here, I had Courtney seal up this crease from panel to panel with some caulk. Told her to use the uh, paintable caulk. She didn't do that. She used 100% silicone, unpaintable. It didn't work so well. What are you gonna do? At least she was helping. Either way, that's one of the things that we're gonna be fixing. Another thing I don't like about these windows is on the inside there's this big ledge and the chickens just sit on it, poop everywhere. It's disgusting, so gross. The coop's actually built fairly well. I was very proud of myself when we were building it. I did film me building this sucker. There were a few or maybe more than a few parts I left out, but hey, I got some of it, check it out. I think it went pretty good. I'm happy. Some other alterations that I'm gonna to make to this sucker is, again, we're gonna add some rain collection for the roof so we can get a lot of that rain, which is gonna be fantastic. And then I don't have to run water everywhere. Woohoo! We're gonna put that T111 up, like I said, put some trim on it, make this a pretty little hen house. Woo! I've still gotta move the coop over to this area over here because back there, is where the run's gonna go. And Courtney apparently needs a 30 foot run. Really Courtney, a 30 foot run? We don't even have that many birds anymore. I think everybody knows what's coming, right? Do you know? Have you figured it out yet? She's gonna get some more birds. <sighs> if you remember from one of our previous videos, I told you that I had to take down some trees. I took one of those trees down and that's that sucker behind me. I didn't film it because there are a lot of folks out there that have a lot of opinions about a lot of things. I'm a novice at cutting trees down. I'm still getting my legs when it comes to using the chainsaw and doing things properly, but I had a pretty solid idea what I was doing. I have some practice on some smaller trees. This was the biggest tree I had taken down yet. And I want you to know that I dropped that sucker exactly where I wanted it. I felt really good. Also a little scared, but I've got all my fingers, my head's still on a swivel, and I'm walking around. So I feel pretty good. And it's down, out of the way. The reason I cut it down was because, well one, it was dead, obviously, so it had to come down. But it, it wasn't just dead, it was also rotten from like 75% of the way up. 
we only had about 25% left that was any good. So that sucker was gonna fall either towards our goats and it definitely would have hit something over there or it was gonna fall on where we're putting our chickens. So I made sure that it fell away from where I was working. This is a dangerous area, by the way. All the uh, hickory nuts and acorns, they just keep falling and smacking me in the head. About 10 of them just dropped. I gotta look out. I've still got a couple trees that need to come down. I think there's one over here. There's a couple more over there. They're all little guys and won't take me long to do. Again, not filming that. Don't worry about it. You wanna watch someone cut trees down? Go over to Wrangle Star. He knows what he's doing. I ain't him. I'm Kenny. Folks, I hope that you are excited about what we got going on here on Beagle Road and that you're tuning in to see all the progress we make over here and over there because I am so excited to get started. I think that's it. Have a great day. See you on the next one.